Governor Kim Reynolds is walking back parts of her proposal to reform area education agencies. Local 5's Dana Searles has a closer look on what's changed from her original plans and how AEAs feel about this proposal. Well, Stephanie, Governor Reynolds' original proposal on reforms to area education agencies sparked a lot of conversation. Now, Reynolds is making changes to the original proposal after speaking to some involved. In Governor Reynolds' condition of the state, she proposed that AEAs will only focus on special education needs and funding will be in the hands of the school districts with oversight from the Iowa Department of Education. And AEAs have grown well beyond their core mission of helping students with disabilities, creating top-heavy organizations with high administrative expenses. But now she is allowing AEAs to keep providing those services if the schools request that and it is approved by the Department of Education. We have the ability to touch and impact every classroom, every district, every student in this state. AEAs have three branches that can provide services from when a baby is born until they are 21. Special education consists of services ranging from speech pathologists to social workers. Their education services support teachers in their teaching and media services provide resources like books and technology support. So for us, um, it would be a fundamental shift in our mission. The AEA's biggest concern with the legislation is the impacts it could have on rural schools. Because there aren't service providers in some of our smaller towns that are there to do speech language therapy or occupational therapy. Reynolds heard some of these concerns and spoke with parents, legislators, superintendents and teachers. Leading to changes on the original proposal, Reynolds commented on these changes saying in part, quote, schools and parents know their students best and this bill ensures that they are in the driver's seat in deciding how best to support their students. Well, the proposal was first introduced the day after the condition of the state and now is in the Education Subcommittee for review and amendments. Stephanie? Dana, thank you.